We are live! Hello everyone! Welcome to Matter Reaction Time Vinny Saga Episode 10! Wow! And yes, if you guys haven't seen my last week message yet, let's just say that it's because of Typhoon Fasai. Episode 10 was delayed, and yeah, of course, you know, studio in order to be safe from the typhoon. So they decided to have to get a day or like a week off so that, you know, the staff would be safe from the, the typhoon. Although I have to say, the typhoon is actually quite strong. I mean, there's a lot of power can all throughout the majority of the Tokyo area. And of course, you know, a lot of people were suffering from transportation problems so I think it's a good uh, idea to have a postponement for last week because of the typhoon fast side so now we're back for episode 10 and, and yeah you know it's quite behind now so Oh well, you know, this is what you, this is what you have to do to protect your staff after all. So let's say last, well, last last week it was episode nine, was like you know the battle of the London Bridge where we get to see this this traitor that faces off against Dolphin, and then he was in he acknowledges his strength because he's he's actually the son of Sword that he's the person he respects, but. Now he fight for the Englishman. So yeah, let's just say, yeah, he really, really wanted to change sides because he wanted to have some entertainment in terms of fighting. But you know, in the end, he he still had got no result because you know they retreated. <laughs> but well, you know, last week episode was actually delayed, and now we finally get to this episode. Today. It's called Ragnarok. So yeah, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, I can see the memes coming, guys. So, so right now today's episode, and of course, you guys, you guys haven't seen my my message for today. Let's just say I'm right now in Fukuoka. Oh, um, well, well, Fukuoka, Nagasaki. Um, so let's just say I'll be uh, traveling around Kyushu for the next six days. So I'll be in the hotel room, and this is the best option I can go for for in terms of doing reactions because like I don't want to bring my laptop with me because like you know overweight problems with my luggage so yeah sorry about this but you know I used this format like back in July when I went to England so hope you guys can able to keep up with from what from where I am with the timer and yes right right it's right now late really late right now in Japan so I might as well get this reaction done so that I can get some sleep so I guess I'm going to the Nagasaki uh, Peace Park tomorrow so I might as well get a good early start tomorrow. So yeah, give me a sec. Okay. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Yeah, there's your typical introduction from by Switch Studio. And by the way, I'm using a new headphone, new phone. I just bought a new Beats Pro. <laughs> uh. Prince, okay. I saw the preview from last week. Uh, the preview for today's episode. Guess we have to introduce you to a new character. I think that's like the go the blondie prince. Oh, what happened here? Oh, it, yeah. He's so still pissed off that you know he wasn't able to get any good fight. Wait, is he attacking his own men or is he just um, throwing at the villain? Oh, okay, attacking the villain. Never mind. So they're they're going to take an attempt at attacking this London Bridge, but they knowing there'll be a threat like him around. <laughs> oh. Wow, he's ro he's ruthless as always. Yeah, I'm onto this scene already. And by the way, I'm I'm using YouTube. I guess like apparently the site I'm using it right now is not available, but the one I but I need to get this up so that I can like get some sleep. I'm really tired. Oh, okay, so they try to try to be patient with him, despite that the fact that he's throwing massive rocks at them. Ah, there we go, the new character. Apparently, he's the prince.
Hmm. Well, okay. I guess he's quite religious, praying. Mm-hmm. Enjoy to then. Yep. Constantly praying for, for protection from God. Protect His Highness. <laughs> and meanwhile, he's having a huge his stack of rocks ready to destroy the enemies whenever he wants. Uh huh. Being all careful and and not to you know, recently recently uh, losing any moments because of him. Yep. Oh, oh ho ho! This smile, man. This smile. <laughs> You know what I'm really excited about the second half of the evidence I got? The man with a mission, my f most favorite, my favorite band, my Japanese band is doing the second opening. So I'm really excited to see how uh, how epic the song is. Because I think the last time they did their op did an, like an opening for an anime song was like, not a lot, no, not for a while actually. I don't remember. The, it's actually, it, I could be wrong, but I think the last time they did an opening was like for... Uh, Inuyashiki, I think that was the one, yeah. I think Inuyashiki was the, I think it was the last one it did. It. Or m maybe there's something between then, but I forgot. But you know, I, I usually, they go in for like some, their own, own album and stuff like that, instead of for singing for an opening. But I'm really looking forward to the second the song, they're, they're returning to anime, making anime opening, making anime song great again. Oh. Oh, was a tough star. Oh, 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 Epic finish to the song, but that's not my favorite though. Ah, oh, seems like Thor is having Thor is having another dream. Yep, I, this is definitely a dream. I mean, how could you not? She's, everything looks so peaceful. Sister is here. I just say, her Dolphin's Thor, Thor, um, older sister looks cute and stuff like that, but she's so much of a tomboy. I mean, I, I can literally see her muscles. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, tell father. That is basically the taboo in his life now. See, I'm pretty sure later in a, in a sort of dream or some sort, they, there'd still be a scene where your father sort of died. But you know, that's what happens when you, you that traumatized you from the part how you became this sort of person. Yeah, it's cute to see father and son moment. <laughs> oh yeah, slaves. It's still, I mean, you mean servants or maids? Just put not like. Uh, don't use the word slaves. Okay, don't use the word slaves. Yeah, there's a lot of historical meanings with those words. Yeah, you know they live such a peaceful life. In I think this is like 
villain in his dreams because <laughs> there's no way this is Iceland this is like I think this is like the dream the dreamland that everyone dream for the peaceful way land or is this just you no know, Iceland during the spring period or oh, no snow without snows well I mean this is his dream after all he wants something peaceful after all ah oh, here we go 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 with the dark clouds and stuff like that Stop thinking about revenge. Oh, well, you know he he oh he think that that's enough to avenge you. But you know, obviously, it won't make him happy. But that's something that he want. He want to make at least for sure make have have no regrets in life. Yep. Yep. This is definitely a dream. The horror of being a Viking. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Yep. This scene always haunts him. Will always haunt him forever. It's a dream. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Once you see something that kills your parents, it will always haunt you forever. That's a sad reality. Hmm. A peaceful land, but not so peaceful. That was, I think that was Vinland. <laughs> I th for, for a second, that was, I thought that was uh, Iceland well, during the spring period. But I guess it's Finland, the one that you, everyone wants to go and have a peaceful life to live in. <laughs> Seems like they're just partying hard while wow, he's just been left out as per always. Oh my god, they just massacred another village, didn't they? I mean, where are they right now? It looks like they're somewhere in the countryside, uh, uh, somewhere away from London. <laughs> or maybe they just need food, someone to stay before they can get enough strength to go back and fight. Bristol, okay, so they're near Bristol. I mean, Bristol is like in the uh, sort of like the east side of London. Um, I mean, of yeah, part of England. So they're not actually far from London. So they're just residing there for now. <laughs> Seems like they have too much alcohol. <laughs> mm. Ten years already? Yo, okay. A ten years of war and yet you guys have no progress. I mean, they're just chilling in the camp, so... Hmm. I can so Ragnarok. They're coming to an end. <laughs> I can see that. Thorkel, their traitor. He's, he's strong, but you know they obviously when it comes to big guys, there's always coming. There's gonna be a weakness. But you know, Thorfinn sort of gave him a good fight. He sort of cut his finger off, and yet he's still not like you know screaming in pain. That shows how strong he is mentally. Oh, so we, there's uh, some sort of riot. 
some random duo in the middle of a, a resting period. I mean, they have too much alcohol, that's why they're mad. <laughs> Cattle thief, huh? Oh, well, at least I haven't let them have some fun before the mission starts again. Yeah, pointless fighting in the middle of a like, relaxing period. Well, Aslad is sitting afar watching from this ruin. I just said beautiful scenery, very beautiful scenery. A fertile land. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is like a proper stuff. This is like a proper place where they're living, st staying. Oh, again with the arrow scene. <laughs> oh my god, what's with the dramatic music? Seriously. I know that you're, you're going to avenge your father, but remember, remember this, does his father really want him to revenge, avenge him? But you know, if Dolphin doesn't give a shit about that, he just wants to kill this guy. <laughs> well, not just loud, but you know, he got he got nightmares. <laughs> well, you know, he's trying to he David, he's trying to get close to him. <laughs> yes, yes, we get it. Stop being a Cinderella. Well, he still have you under the control in terms of like, you know accepting a duel with you. <laughs> Seriously, man, Thorfinn is such a Cindera. I mean, Aslak has some po has a point there in terms of saying, um, just you know, relax and just get used to this environment for now. Time is on your side. Well, for how long that is? How for how long? I mean, through time, he's going to prove as a fighter and a person, so yeah, we'll see how, when we get his chance for a rematch. Saxons. Yeah, those terms were used for those people back then. Saxons. Mm-hmm. Romans. You know, Romans have conquered most of Europe back then, and they some um, they made it to England, but the Saxons defended it all. Oh, that is some beautiful scenery uh, view right there. <laughs> Glory to the Roman Empire. <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, God, this is. Did this turn out to be quite a bloody fight that he killed someone? Wow, they took the fight really seriously. Ragnarok, yes.
the end. The catastrophe, basically, that term means dawn or twilight. I just say, which series of really flexing themselves with this amazing scenery? Hmm? What do we have here? Okay, guess someone's coming. An ally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Prince Con. Guess the Prince of Denmark is here, coming to uh, come to help them out. <laughs> or oh, basically just take everything from the village. Hmm. Yep. Door kill. He's almost there. Okay. Mob Bros. Well, I guess you know Thor Kel wanted more action, so he decided to create the army and follow them, get near them now. So they are in for a treat with Thor Kel. No, no stopping him, I guess. Oh, yikes! Aha, more Vikings. Reinforcements, I guess. Ooh. Oh, God. Whenever Thor Chaos comes to action, things get really wild and. Yeah. Ooh. Yo ho, yo ho. Oh ho ho. God, this scene, man. This is such a horrible scene to see. Yeah, he's retreating. This is a good choice. They had another waiting, they just invade the area like Vikings. <laughs> Oh, guess he's here. Ah ha ha ha, no running away now. Man, he's a threat. Oh, this is not a good sign. So, did he capture him? Ah, makes sense, I guess. Less than 400 men. Hmm. So they're asking them to take part in battle to rescue the prince. Now we got Stor Kel is now gathering a big army and they need to, you know, counter it. Hmm. <laughs> Obviously, you're gonna say yes. I mean, this is the the English we're talking, so they. The sound of footsteps of Ragnarok. Ha ha ha. Oh! 
What the F did he just do? Since he just said he's a final survivor, he might as well just get rid of this final survivor. Jesus Christ, he is ruthless as fuck, man. Of course they will, of course they will. <laughs> Not gonna ask for help, okay. So what is this, a suicide mission for this team? The Prince of Denmark. <laughs> mm hmm. Trying to get all the rewards for himself. Wow, well, I expect nothing less from an ass lad. Oh, hell, ass lad. Oh. At least he raised the morals for the team now. Now they're gonna do whatever it takes. Yeah, of course, we have Thorfinn. <laughs> He's been reckless. Let's go out with a bang. Of course, man, with Thorfinn in the team, Thorfinn can somehow challenge Thorkel in, in, in an equal fight. So, yeah. Oh, mate. The next episode is going to be quite a battle. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. So next episode is gonna be Ragnarok where you know they're gonna charge in to save the prince you know being captive like uh, in by Thorkel. So well you know they're not gonna ask for help so this is pretty much gonna be a suicide mission but we'll see how successful it will be. And of course, you know, the prince is stuck into his throne, so that's why they do whatever it takes to rescue him. And he just cut off the last survivor head. I mean, no survivor, I guess. So, wow. Well, you know, they were just chilling around the village, just, you know, uh, resting up. And, well, things didn't go that way because, like, um, they've been told that Thorkel is coming with a huge army and they need to fight and fight, him, fight his army and also get uh, help to save the prince. So. This is gonna be quite an interesting episode for next week starting next week because like we're gonna see how they're going about to defeat Thorkel. I mean we have Thorfinn and stuff like that. But also Thorfinn so it reintegrate that he's not here to support them, he's here to have his revenge by you know by doing something successful for them so that he can get his duel for with Aslad. But you know, he, he's just keep on comp he's just keep on saying that he's just getting old. So Thor I mean this is I mean he really really wants his revenge after all, so I can't I don't really blame him for that. But in the end, yeah, he he really wants his revenge. So you know, he just had to carry be a good boy and carry carry his mission and just you know. And so next episode, he pretty much asked like gonna ask him to like you know a fight Thor Thor Kale just for second round so that you know that's pretty much gonna get him some results. And next, I think next few the next few episodes in the second half of the season, we're gonna focus on you know the prince saving the prince fighting. Thor killing his army, and of course, um, you know, just you know, just get, just getting, um, just you know, Ragnarok. This, this is gonna be the end of the war, and the, and you can see it happening, and uh, and hopefully Thorfinn can somehow get some good results today. He can finally move on instead of like you know dwelling over to his father's death because he's been having nightmares around it. I mean, he, he doesn't really change as a person yet. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction today. Yeah, sorry about this format. Of course, I try my best to give you guys show you guys who see how I am with instead of showing you the stopwatch. And yeah, so you guys have a chance to watch it soon. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be it's available now by the time I upload this video. So yeah, give a like, enjoy my reaction, subscribe to my reaction review content, and I'll see you guys next reaction video, which will be Arifreta in the same fucking format again. So I'll see you guys then.